At any point over the last nine months, have any of the player directors on the policy board called on you or any of the independent directors on that board to resign? You know, there's been a lot of um, good spirited debate um, amongst our board. Uh, I don't think that would be a surprise to anybody, um, you know, given the events of last summer. Um, but we are a unified, we're a unified front. We've, our policy board um, continues to um, perform and function at a very high level with great support of our player directors in the formation of PGA Tour Enterprises uh, with a new board, uh, a new board comprised of four members of SSG, uh, seven, seven players or six player directors and, and Joe Ogilvie, who's a liaison director, uh, myself and Joe Gorder, who's the independent director serving on that board. Uh, I'm excited to work with both boards. You know, for me, um, honored to, you know, serve as commissioner and now be a member of the PGA Tour Policy Board. Uh, and also honored to be CEO of PGA Tour Enterprises and be a part of that board. Um, and committed to working with each of those boards to make sure we're moving this business forward um, and achieving what we can achieve to its full capacity. Just as a follow-up then, do you feel you have the full backing, the full confidence of all the players that you are the right man to, to move this deal forward? You know, that's a question that you'll have to ask for players. I can't generalize as it relates to players, but clearly given the responsibility I've been given by both boards, I have the support of our board and I am the right person to lead us forward. I know that. I believe that in my heart and I'm determined to, to, you know, to do exactly that. Let's finish with Doug and then Todd, please. Kind of along those lines, Jay, you spoke a lot last summer about just given the kind of the shock and awe of the June 6th announcement, regaining and rebuilding trust with the players. How are you able to do that if so much of what you're doing has to be in private? You know, I, that is a difficult element to this. Um, a big part, of, big part of that, Doug, is when you look at Tiger and Jordan and Patrick and Adam and Webb and Peter, and you look at the 16 members of our Player Advisory Council, and you look at the way our team is communicating with both groups, um, and the frequency with which we're talking as a board, you know, ultimately the membership of the PGA Tour has great respect for the members that they've elected to be on our board. And those, those six player directors, I think, have done an exceptional job to the degree that they can um, sharing with the membership um, and communicating about where we are and where we're going, recognizing that there are certain things, you know, like I'm doing here today that we can't talk about publicly. But I think the role that they've played, um, the, the, the onboarding of SSG and the strength that they bring to this organization and to our sport has clearly resonated with the players of the PGA Tour. They, they want to see some of the impact and results soon. And, and they will, um, but I think, you know, being able to, you know, really solidify and work so closely with that board, and you know, I'm, I'm sure you're hearing it from the players, they have great confidence in their directors, um, and as do I, and that working relationship ultimately, um, you know, is, is, is a big part of ultimately having that trust to you know, do the deal we did with SSG and, and hopefully do uh, additional deals that, in the future through SSG.